Hey guys, uh, welcome to College United Engineering with Mungani Kumede. So today we'll be doing uh, sequence 4. Okay, let me read the statement for you. The statement says that Moto 2 must start after Moto 1. Okay, so your Moto 2 must start after Moto 1. And then it says that both motors can be stopped independently. Okay, so we've covered uh, motor stopping independently from... Um, when your moto to start after moto one on sequence one and sequence two and then the statement says that when moto one is stopped while moto two is still running moto one cannot be restarted okay let me explain this so if both motors are running your moto one and you decide to stop moto one while both motors are running it means that you cannot be able to restart moto one until you stop moto two Okay, so let me go online. I'm online right now. Okay, let me energize my fuses. So we have power. Okay, so we have power up to this point. Okay, so when I press the start button for start button for motor one, we see that you, our motor is rotating. Okay, but now, okay. Let me do this. My mouse. Okay. Yeah, my mouse was not moving. So now I'm starting Moto 2. Okay. Let's start Moto 2. Yeah, my laptop is a bit slow. Forgive me for that. Yes. So both motors are now running. Okay. Both motors are now rotating. So now i decide to stop motor one okay so you see i've stopped motor one but now let me come and start motor one again remember the statement says that you must not be able to uh to restart your motor one okay so i'm pressing the start button nothing is happening you can see that yes uh the it does lose your start button but power is not flowing here why because of we have introduced a normally open a, a normally closed of km2 inside the start button of motor one okay let me go offline and explain so you see this is the start button okay so when you press the start button power will flow and energize this coil but immediately when your km2 coil energizes here there will be an open loop but power still will flow on that side okay let me go online show you what i mean so okay let me energize my fuses okay so you see i just press the start button for motor one okay but now check when i press here you see this is a normal open check immediately when I, the km2 coil energizes its contact which was normally closed has now become a normal open so power is flowing through the retainer but not through here so that is why if I press the stop button now, okay, I have stopped motor one. If now I try to press this start button, power won't flow here. So we have actually done what the statement requires. Okay, so let me read the statement again. It says that if both motors are running and motor one is stopped while motor two is still running, motor one cannot be restarted. So we have actually achieved that. Okay. So there's no way that you can restart Moto 1. Unless if you stop Moto 2. So if you stop Moto 2. Uh, now I'm pressing the wrong thing. If you press, you stop Moto 2. That normally open is now a normally closed. So I've explained um, why we add this KM1 here inside the start button. Uh, go and watch your sequence one and sequence two and then you will understand so let's just check if we've covered everything the statement says that 
uh, motor 2 must start before motor 1 yeah motor 2 cannot be uh, motor 2 must start after motor 1 is yes. so for that so when we press the start button for motor 2 nothing is happening so we've achieved that and then when we press the start button for motor 1 it's starting and then when we press the start button for motor 2 starting but now when we stop uh, our motor 1 while motor 2 is still running we must not be able to restart uh, our motor 1 so when I try to restart nothing is happening because of here there's an open loop so thank you for watching let us meet on the next video shop shop